system. This is a petroleum system, basically accumulations of fluids entrapped between rocks. You see these fluids have been there for millions of years establishing thermodynamic equilibrium between them. And once we start production, we actually disturb this equilibrium and initiate a wide range of interactions between the different phases and components of the production system. And this is where actually the production chemistry issues are coming from. It's from the interactions between the different phases and components and the re-establishment of a new equilibrium between them. And it's really challenging because of the continuously changing conditions such as pressure, temperature, flow rate and all that stuff. And it's getting worse when we mix different streams like different wells from different reservoirs or adding stuff to the system like injecting gas or water. Even the chemicals that we use to treat the process can be a source of issues if it's not compatible with the system. So let's take a look at what phases and components we have and the conditions that might lead to the different interactions between them. So for the sake of simplicity, I just made these two graphs. Uh, the one on the right summarizes the phases or components, the one on the left, the conditions or the system parameters. Of course, there's more than that. I just made these to simplify things. So a few examples are given here. For example, the gas will interact with the water at low temperature, high pressure to cause gas hydrates issues. The oil will have a lot of interactions. It'll interact with the injection gas, such as the CO2 gas, to cause asphaltine deposits. Uh, two incompatible oils will cause um, asphaltine deposits if they're uh, mixed up together. The oil will deposit asphaltines again if, that, if, the, if the pressure drops below the, uh, the asphaltine onset pressure. Um, uh, also, there's like so many factors that can cause asphaltine issues, such as the pH change, temperature change, the hydrodynamics. A lot of these factors uh, are not given here. So the oil fizz also will uh, will deposit waxes if the temperature fall below the wax appearance temperature. The oil will interact with the water and presence of the emulsifying agents to cause emulsions. The naphthenic and carboxylic acids in the oil will interact with the metal ions in the water at specific pH to cause soap, either soap emulsion or soap scale. And then moving to the produced water, it'll interact with the water, with the injection water to cause scaling issues, uh, or it can be self scaling itself with the changing pH, temperature, and pressure. And then moving to the treatment chemicals. These can do magic in your system, but if they're not compatible, they will interact with the different fluid phases and the metallic structures to, uh, under the changing pressure, temperature, and pH to cause corrosion and deposits issues. The reservoir rocks will interact with the fluid phases, with the changing fluid hydrodynamics to cause sand production, fines migration, clay swelling, um, formation damage and of course other production challenges. The metallic structures will interact with the different fluid phases under the changing pH, temperature, pressure to cause corrosion and other uh, deposits issues. The microorganisms, these little bugs, will live in the fluid phases hoarding and scavenging their own nutrients to cause corrosion known as the MEC or the microbiologically influenced corrosion. Uh, and also scaling issues known as the biomineralization. You might have one or more of these issues, but the best way to manage these issues is to understand your system parameters or components, what kind of interactions that are possible and what kind of um, equilibrium they're trying to establish. So you can intervene in the right moment with the right treatment. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.